We are in the presence of God. You remember today is the first day of June 2023. We have survived January, February, March, April, May. It is the Lord's doing. Can you thank him in your own words? Na susu that's one special thing about the Jews all the names they give to God is when they consider what he has done in their midst around them and for them they'll bring out one name this is El Rafa also, this is El Shalom, Jehovah Nenyehudo. This is Jehovah Zukenu. This is Jehovah Zukenu. This is Jehovah Zukenu. This is Jehovah is God to you? With your personal experiences with him, can you call him special personal names that mean something definite to you? Kene kene tole amama. He is God. He is awesome. There is none like him. Honor him with the words of praise, adoration, and worship from your mouth. Kenya, Sopole, a poisia, la nia, name a manke, then soyano totoa. He is God. Are there reason all again, man? Not minding whatever you're passing through. God is good to you and your family. Thank Him, exalt Him. If you're married and you have children, thank him for your children, thank him for your brothers and sisters, thank him for your husband, your wife, your parents. Don't tell him, He's God. Thank him for your health. If you ask people who go to hospital for treatment, they will tell you how much fortunes they spend. But many of us seated and watching from online, joining from January to June, you have not gone to hospital because of sickness. Why not go adore him? Why not magnify him? Many of us bought vehicles. You bought taxis, tricycles to the places you go. You come back on daily basis on hot. Many people enter the same vehicles and tricycles. They don't get home. Some of them end up in the hospital. Some of them end up in the mortuary. Why not say thank you? Some of you gave birth. Since this year, a lot of people have given birth to children. Their children are alive. They are alive themselves. Some women went into that labor room or theater. They didn't come out. Why not appreciate God? Why not adore him? Why not glorify him? No matter what happened in the last election we had, the whole world said that will be the end of Nigeria, that there will be war, that will be killing, that will be massacre. Yes, devil programmed it, but God intervened. Today we are still in this country, no matter what is happening, there is no war, there is no massacre. There is no littering of corpses as people predicted. This is the Lord's doing. It is marvelous in our sight. For this election, I have to go Nigeria. No Zoom, I have to go to Nigeria. I have to go to Nigeria. I have to go to Nigeria. There is nothing like as gracious as peace. War is terrible. Kenya Chuku. Mm, he is the El Shaddai. 
when all thy mercies, oh my God, my rising soul, sovereign, transported with the view I'm lost. Wonder, love, and praise is the Lord. Is the Lord? Amen. He has risen from the dead. He is the Lord. I'm so happy when, when I come into your presence. I'm so glad. I'm so glad for me. Your presence, there is anointing, and your spirit moves around us in your Shabbat, every tongue must confess that Jesus Christ is the Lord. Every name, Shabbat, every tongue must confess that Jesus Christ is the Lord. Hallelujah, Jesus 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 is the Lord. Oh yes, Jesus Christ is the Lord. Can you declare it again? Hallelujah, Jesus is the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus is the Lord. 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 Oh yes, Jesus Christ is the Lord. Before we open the word of God this morning, can you pray and ask him what you want him to do for you this month, this month? Can you pray concerning this month and say, Lord, this is what I ask of you. This is my desire. This is my expectations this month. Forget what the environment is saying. Forget what circumstances around you are saying. Speak in faith. And it shall be unto you according to your faith. Wrap your faith around you. Wrap your faith around you. 
Rapo stories have social media harassment. What do you want? God will always ask the, somebody, what do you want me to do for you? Mother, father, brother, sister, God is asking you this morning, wherever you are, whether physically present here, or you are joining virtually, you have expectations this month. You have, this is half year. Are there dreams you wrote down in January? about this year have they been fulfilled can you reenact them through prayer this morning what is it that you are expecting from god this year on behalf of your family your siblings, your parents, your brothers and sisters, your wife, your husband, pray this morning. Don't be an aimless worshiper. Worship God with an aim. This is the half of the year. Abagi the match by half time. I'm on a second half now. The very critical. Tell God this year I must have that testimony by your mercy, by your power, by your divine visitation. Give me that testimony. I know some of you prayed during the Covenant Sunday and January, God, this is what I want this year. Can you tell God I am here? Some of you prayed in January 1, Lord, this is what I want this year. Can you say, Lord, as the eyes of the handmaiden, is upon her mistress do i look up to you and mary will always say blessed is he that believeth for there shall be a fulfillment of that thing that was spoken of the lord can you believe the lord this morning can you say lord please this is june remember my desire remember my expectations and the scripture says that the expectations of the righteous shall not be cut short this is a serious matter this morning june 1 is half year the half of 2023 we are in can you pray lord i will not end this year with the same story i started last year major story this is half year. Mm. Is the Lord is he? Oh, is the Lord risen? Power, glory, and honor belong to him he has promised he will never fail i will follow i will follow him he has promised he will never his faithfulness is forevermore. His faithfulness is forevermore. Forevermore. Confess it. Confess it. Confess it, he will not fail. Never fail. I will follow. I will follow him. God has promised. He will never fail. He is
Father, this is our confidence that he who has promised is faithful and you will not fail. We thank you because you are our God. We thank you because you are our maker, our redeemer. We thank you for being so merciful to us to bring us into the sixth month of this great year. Thank you because of the miracles you've done before. Thank you for the promises you promised us this year. Thank you because there will be a fulfillment. As we open your word this morning, open our hearts to believe your word. And bless us abundantly through your word this morning. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. The amen can be stronger. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. God bless you. Be seated. Quickly, can we turn our Bibles to 2 Kings chapter 18? A very interesting reading the Lord has given us this morning. I welcome you to this month, whether you are physically present here or you are joining online. Second Kings chapter 18, we read from verse 17 quickly, quickly. Second Kings 18, 17 following. Then the king of Assyria sent Tatan, sent the, the Tatan, the Rapsaris, and the Rapshake from Lachish, with a great army against Jerusalem to King Hezekiah. And they went up and came to Jerusalem. When they had come up, they went and stood by the aqueduct from the upper pool, which was on the highway to the fuller's field. And when they had called to the king, Eliakim, the son of Hekir, who was over the household, Shebna, the scribe, and Juah, the son of Esaph, the recorder, came out to them. Then the Rabshake said to them, Say now to Hezekiah, mark where we are reading, say now to Hezekiah, Thus says the great king. Look at that introduction. Who is this great king? You know, when people begin to arrogate to themselves the powers they don't have, God is always ready to strike. If he has said, Thor says, a great king, it is a pardonable sin. But he used the definite article, they, which means even in God being involved, that this man said, I am even king over God. Say it now to Hezekiah, thus says the great king, the king of Assyria. Let the question, watch that question. Harassment. What confidence is this in which you trust? You speak of having plans and power for war, but they are mere words. And in whom do you trust that you rebel against me? Now look, you are trusting in the staff of his, this broken reed, Egypt, on which if a man leans, it will go into his hand and pierce it. So is Pharaoh king of Egypt to all who trust in him. But if you say to me, we trust in the Lord our God. Is it not he whose high places and whose altars Hezekiah had taken away and said to Judah and Jerusalem, you shall not worship before this altar in Jerusalem. I would like it to end it there. 
we are discussing the topic that said dealing with Satan's harassment. Dealing with Satan's what? Harassment. Life is full of challenges. Everybody has his or her food packages. If anybody is seated in this church or joining us from our online and you can say you have no challenge at all, I don't need a soothsayer to tell me you are a pathological liar. That's why I keep on warning people, don't challenges are customized. Challenges of life. Are what? Don't go to wish to be like somebody. You may collapse. Just as challenges are customized, grace to handle challenges are also customized. Mark it. And let me tell you, whatever challenge a child of God is going through, already God has given the grace to overcome it. The greatest problem we have in handling challenges of life is attitude. Somebody say attitude. Many of us, either attitude may your problem is lingering or it has not been solved. Or you may not even solve them. Attitude. Let's go back to where we read. Satan is the manufacturer and engineer of all troubles and challenges. Even though there may be challenges that God will allow him to bring through which he will work out his purpose, but God does not manufacture trouble. He doesn't man manufacture problem, but he can allow Satan to bring some problems and challenges. Come a chairman in the your job, Bonye. So permission can go in a near deconia. You know, when we read about Job, I keep on telling people at times you hear children of God say, Why me? Why me? Oh God, I worship you. I do this. I do that. Why me? That shows ignorance. So far, you are still putting on flesh and blood. You are prone to challenges of life whether you are righteous or not the truth of the matter book I think is Psalm 34 verse 19 have you read it before? many it didn't say few many are the not even challenges the bible called them Affliction, yeah, being a mekparo. Affliction, bo ogu ogu. Tons and tistos. Many are the afflictions that come to who? To who? Mark it, so that you don't give up. Hey, I will no longer go to fellowship. I will no longer evangelize. I will not because I'm a child of God. I've done this for God, and this is happening to me. You are ignorant of the word of God. None of us is immune to the challenges of life. Nobody. But the end of that quotation is my joy always. Upon no end, many are the afflictions of the righteous. I will be discouraged, seriously. Are you with me? But how does he end? How did, the, did that quotation end? He said, but. Somebody said, but. That word is a, is a, is a game changer. <laughs> He said, but the Lord does what? Delivers him from some of them. Uh-uh. What did he say? 
can you shout all? Oh. And I want to tell you by the provision of that scripture, whatever challenges or harassment you're going through, the Lord will deliver you from all of them. Here is the king of Judah called Hezekiah. This man was a righteous king. But let me warn, because of time, we didn't read the, take the reading from verse 1. Let me warn children of God. peace with Satan. Don't ever enter into negotiation or settlement with who? If you read from verse 1, of where we read to verse 17 and 4, where Hezekiah opened the channel for this harassment. You know, this king just came one day, harassed Hezekiah, ba, ba, ba. Hezekiah have heard what this king can do. The man can do and undo and redo. King of Assyria. He was the number one king. As the president of America, the number one citizen of the world. King of Assyria. So immediately also Hezekiah, I will deal with you. Bible said, Hezekiah went to him. I said, oh God, let us have peace. Guy said to Lord, tell me what you need. I will give you all. So that we will have, listen to me, some of you, when I listen to people, I say, ah, this lady is having mammoth disturbance. Or banje, or where? Now banje ne mi, kaije na miri, Mary ife, or banje. And I asked them, one family I went to pray, I said, what is all about? I said, just get set to Luandi or banje, kahara peyaka. I didn't settle the question, settle. Hezekiah tried it. And the man, read from verse 1 to 17, 16. He said, And the king of Assyria imposed heavy tribute and task on him. That Hezekiah said, I will pay. And Hezekiah paid. But listen to where he misfired. One, trying to make peace with Satan. Two, he paid to the extent that he couldn't have resources to pay again. Can, do you know what Hezekiah did? He went into the temple of God. Go to the temple. King of Assyria. That is why when you are dealing with unbelievers, I pity you. I'm going to record Nakba. So when he came for the second time and Ezekiah tried to say we will trust the Lord. Or Cindy Judah, which God? The one that Hezekiah have taken away what is in his temple and given to me. <laughs> is it the one you are going to trust? Are you following me this morning? So don't make mistake of trying to negotiate with Satan. What you are dealing with this morning is Dealing with Satan's word. Now, let me show you how Satan comes. He comes with great intimidation. How does he do it? He will so much magnify your challenge that it will look like there will be no solution. If I know about your practical things, Satan comes with what? Intimidation. And the kind of thing all gay Egyptian could take my in no kita somebody eh pen egg bella no when a cancer ninety per cent or more he never keta in egg belly egg belong because many of us believe that God cannot cure cancer. It's there. You are praying but inside you know now nah, can it your time. Because of the, the, the harassment of cancer. Let me, why did I say it? Look at the three people that as uh, Senekareb 
king of Assyria, sent to Hezekiah. You read the titles, have you checked out whom they are? These three categories of men, Habatana, your territory, in your man, Merenakwagi. The first one only lead the squad to only call the Tatan. Tatan but title of Rafa the man. The office the man controls in Assyrian government is what? Tatan. It's just like saying the bishop came. Bishop is an office. If you want to call my name now, Kwekbafam. Man, if you want to call my office, it's hey, even in Manabai Nabal, even the bishop. Him. So the Tatan, who was the Tatan? The Tatan is the commander in chief of the Assyrian army. That's how Satan comes. If all gauge make intimidate, but high profile challenges that if you don't know whom you are worshipping and how to harass him back, you are gone. The second person, there are officers of the Rapsaris. Rapsaris is also an office. He is the chief of the officers in service in Assyria. Chief of all the officers. If you like, he's you no know, head of the civil service in Assyria. And the third person that came, Bo, the Rapshake. It's also an office. The Rabshake. Rabshake, the chief of staff to the head of state of Assyria. And you see how they came. Ndara. <laughs> if they didn't know, you know, some of us don't know how to, but I will teach you in a few minutes and we'll pray how to deal with Satan's harassment. You know, when they came, why not move to Hezekiah quietly? I said, Oga, this thing, look at it, look at it, we will do it this way. The Bible said they went and climbed the wall. Ajadana, Judah, Bido Tivenku. Hear you, the people of Judah. And you know, Arura and Andia, you know, these people, we are not speaking, they are not Jews. But in order to pass the message to the grassroots, to cause panic, they learned Hebrew language, climbed the wall, and were speaking in Hebrew. So when the officers of Hezekiah had it, they said, oh, Speak to us in Aramaic. Aramaic. Let us discuss it. Uh, don't speak in Hebrew so that the rest of the people will not hear and panic. Hamo, see, do you think we came for you? We want them to hear. Satan's harassment is universal and communal. Obatana family or Jidonia or Bonanen shake. Satan's harassment is communal. It's generic. It doesn't spare anybody. Look at the caliber of men. Now, because we will soon pray. I don't know what Satan is harassing you with. But I want to tell you there are representatives of Satan's harassment. And you know the mean the word harass means to trouble constantly. So when you hear dealing with Satan's harassment, we are saying dealing with Satan's trouble to you constantly. Satan's constant trouble. Number two, to harass means to intimidate and torture. To intimidate. make intimidate. I don't know what he's harassing you with. Senekare was mesmerizing Hezekiah and the people of Judah. But hear me. If you know how to deal with Satan, it is not the statement of the war that is important. It is the outcome. Satan can do anything, but who wins the battle? I want to tell you, there. let me mention some areas Satan may be harassing you. Check your own, because we're going to pray. And when the neighbor, 
hardship and poverty is part of the harassment. You look into your family, nobody is doing well. Nobody is progressing. In fact, if the problem of 5,000 arises in your family now, there will be sorrow and tears. There are people like that. Problem of 5,000, there will be sleepless night. There will be high blood pressure. Poverty everywhere. You have boys, maybe men, one, two, three, four men in one family. Nobody is amounting to anything. There are families like that. They cannot boast of any good thing in their family. Think of vehicle. You see somebody that is laying the foundation of his house. Also, to akurune ne, iche no nonso. How is it possible in a time like this somebody can be laying foundation to build a house because of the harassment of poverty and failure? Anything you put your hand in, that thing collapses. That is Satan's harassment. But don't give up. Solution is coming this morning. Did you hear me well? I said solution is coming this morning. There are people here, their own harassment or family harassment is sickness. It's Satan's harassment. Sickness. January to December. Anakakakoria. Every year, the same story. God did not create you to be sick. That's why I need to pay serious attention when I talk about how to deal with them. Sicknesses. I keep on telling us, you grow in faith and in following God to the extent of knowing that as a child of God, what you allow in your life is what gets allowance in your life. Whatever you allow, let me read something. My God, Bible, I know. Can somebody look at Job chapter 22, verse 28? I just read it and go back to our Bible text. Job chapter 22. I have told God to help me in my life that the scripture will not be a wonderful rhetoric book where I will rehearse what is there and it is not working. I said, God is not me. Job chapter 22, verse 28. Are you there? Have you got it? I read it for you. He said, You will also do what? Do you have English Bible? My own is New King James Version. And when you do old King James, I bet they declare. Can you old King James? Is it not decree? You shall also decree a thing, and it will be established for you so your light will shine on your you shall declare decree a thing he's talking to children of God whatever you allow we have not grown in faith to that if you decree today it doesn't happen do what again decree again because this is the scripture I love what Peter did in Acts chapter 1, but actually he made election to replace Judas. Peter made one comment. He said, brethren, men and brethren, this scripture has to be fulfilled. Now, when we hear Bible called Maka Judas, have you gotten up in your life, look at things that are not working, and say, this is what God said. And what is happening in my life and family is contradicting it. Therefore, this scripture must be fulfilled. We create allowance for Satan. Amen. don't come near me. What do you allow? In your life, gets allowance in your life. Mark that statement. 
until we learn what, who we are. Many of us in Agaoka, now make Christianity. In Ongoge, I saw this mental, spiritual mental depravity. People were saying, you know, Christianity is synonymous with poverty and failure. Nebro Rabon again, again, Obiam, a Megon Zuko, Bahako, Iri Wedding Gan, not Bali. But I said, no, let me read the Bible. It's not just about prosperity message. Let me study the Bible. I took time from Genesis to Revelation. A web Lazarus, my matcha, how we are from those are for the Alpha, Oria, Oria, Ronia Becca, Gabriel Liguis, a web Lazarus. <laughs> All the righteous people I saw in the Old Testament were very rich people. Oh, that brother, Lazarus, a mommy a problem anyway. Maybe he accepted or area area. A madam came and accept. Why am I saying that? I am proving to you. We don't have time this morning, but I woke up when I was growing up. The day I became born again, 38 years ago, I looked into my family. I saw backwardness, hopelessness, poverty, rejection, dejection. I saw retrogression. I didn't see any light. Nobody preached to me. I studied the Bible. I said, God, as far as you have brought me here, you know, some of us now you parochialize some Bible quotations. You know, when we read, you are the light of the world, you're only thinking about only righteousness. Righteousness is part one. In prosperity and blessing, you should also be the light. I said, God, this story will not con continue, but I will know, never lower my Christian standard. Okwa Bible, na gugum, he's Abraham. Abraham, Come out from your father's house, your kindred, from this and that, and follow me. Then you told him, if you come and follow me, I will bless you. I will make you fruitful. You will be a blessing to your generation. Whoever blesses you will be blessed by me. By you, all the nations of the earth, will be blessed only if you will obey me. I say, God, I will not practice hypocritical Christianity. This scripture must fulfill. What are you allowing in your life? It's not about worry and anxiety. Ekponya kanaba. Nedia, nedia, nedia no kototo. Itetora nyawa bombo inab. The greatest ignorance is to be ignorant of whom you are in God. The greatest ignorance, to be ignorant of whom you are in God. Such the scripture. You know, oh God, help me. When we read the Bible, if you read Matthew chapter 22, 29, Jesus looked at them and said, you, you. You are mistaken and you are in error not knowing the scriptures nor the power of God. How many of us read the Bible? And how are you ministry? This morning, there are people who will fail you and disappointment is their own harassment, failure. Young girl, you are up to the age of marriage, you're beautiful. Today, a man will come and propose you and you say, okay, let me come and inform my people and come back. That is the end. Not once, not twice, not three eyes. Why should he continue like that? Are you created for disappointment? 
Somebody will make a promise of helping you and you concretize it. The person says, okay, by next week, I will fulfill my promise. And that is the end of the story. Something is wrong somewhere. Disappointment is Satan's harassment. Constant one. Somebody will offer you a job after interview. I say, by next week, you will resume. Before next week, stories will crop up and that job is gone. It's harassment. Disappointment is harassment. There are people that are harassed by inexplicable deaths in their family. In their family. I know a woman, very committed woman in the church, every November, two years, every second November of every two years, I what is happening in your own family? Why do people die very young there? Somebody, oh, remember that grammar I spoke and I prayed and speak it again. What you allow in your life and family is what gets what? Allowance in your life and family. So don't tell me, oh, you can stop premature death. That is a harassment. You can stop mysterious death. You can stop children dying in the presence of their parents in your family. It's a harassment. These things in my from the Bible, how many people that feared God in the Bible buried their children? Have you read Bible? What you will be hearing, oh, this one became so old, like Isaac. He said, Isaac was too old, his eyes became dim, he, did, he could not see. And he called his first son, Esau. I said, go and get me meat, prepare the meat, so that I will eat, and um, I will bless you as I'm going to my fathers. Also, Joseph, bring me. Oh no, man, I'm going to that place. Oh no, I don't know. If God go by, I'm going to go to my fathers. I'm going to go to my fathers. I'm going to go to my fathers. Uh, a case if a protocol is broken. A case more. Don't come near me. If there are more, I got a like protocol. In my case, I got you mad. <laughs> Joseph brought them protocoly. Dobehana, papa, get Dobaka, Nisi, Dog, Pala, Deba, Kekbe, and the man has a bonu, Dog, Pala, Neku, Chano, a Dobem Naka, whoever. Ewa ye last ball la ebi dolo ta go no maketa na mbo last ball nka nko eba aketa amu omo na mana se mbo last ball and i got is no this one is a special candidate e ma ke si go si go si ha joseph na abane kanika said daddy this is wrong o kenya obagogi so said joseph shh e ba ta ne kanika hu je chuku geme God will break protocol because of you. God will change system because of you. God will toward the men of order because of you. Bureaucracy will be changed positively because of you. You will stand to testify of God's victory because of God's mercy. In the name of Jesus Christ. So I'm not me for harassing you. When I was struggling with our success, Fana Bambo, they are doing everything they can do to succeed. Nothing is coming out of it. It is Satan's harassment. Unwendable, 
childlessness and barrenness. But their own problem. I met a family. Childlessness now be fend up when they both consolidated principalities and powers. How can you have five boys? Five of them married. None gave birth. I went to a family, I met such kids. Five hefty young men. All of them married. 16 years married, 13 years married, 11 years, 9 years married. Umwe barofuni mahakumwa. I am this is harassment. This principality must be uprooted. Thank God. <laughs> Today, after that family prayer, Diokpara, who is at the age of 19 years in marriage, your own harassment will end this year. Did somebody hear me? If I repeat it, you need to emphasize that amen. I say, as God liveth, and as a servant and high priest of the Elohim, this God that created you for dominion and fruitfulness and blessing, every satanic harassment in your life and family and marriage and career, must end this year in the name of Jesus Christ. Sit. Now we come to the conclusion by teaching you in a few minutes how to deal with satanic or Satan's harassment. We will use Hezekiah's approach. Follow me to where we read. How did Hezekiah deal with that? Second Kings chapter 19. Second Kings chapter 19, verse 1. We read verse 1, then jump to verse 10. How did Hezekiah deal with his own harassment? From, you know, Senekarev is a representative of Satan. Senikare, come with a union. Ahab, Pharaoh. Kedi and Nebuchadnezzar. Herod. Herman. The Ojo. You open a union. No? Eh? National Union of Kidnappers. A man other than Nigeria. Nationally, you don't know about known government. <laughs> Yet they know themselves. <laughs> Second Kings chapter 8, 19, verse 1. We rush now. Verse 1 says, And so it was when King Hezekiah heard. On the chapter of harassment in Ella, when King Hezekiah had it, what did he do? As a human being, he tore his clothes. Covered himself with sackcloth, but more importantly, where did he go to? And went into the house of the Lord. Look at verse 10, verse 10, verse 10. Thus, you know, when he went there, they continued the harassment. Thus, you shall speak to Hezekiah, king of Judah saying, do not let your God in whom you trust deceive you. You see how these people are stupid. They have even graduated from Hezekiah now to who? To God. Say, so don't let God deceive you. Saying, Jerusalem shall not be given into the hand of the king of Assyria. Look, you have heard what the king of Assyria have done to all lands by utterly destroying them. And shall you be delivered have the gods of whom my fathers have destroyed Gozan and Haran and Rezef and the god of people of Eden who were in Telassa? Where is the king of Hamat, king of Apad, and the king of the city of Sephavim? 
Hina and Eva. Verse 14. And this was this time around. Okuchazifai quote and a letter. The man wrote this harassment and sent it to Ezekiel. Look at verse 14. The revelation. A weapon Lazarus, my matcha away, your former, those are for the Alpha, Oria, Oria, Ronia Becker, Gabriel Liguis, a weapon Lazarus. All the righteous people I saw in the Old Testament were very rich people. Oh, that brother, Lazarus, a mommy of problem anyway. Maybe he accepted or area or area. And Madam Kimmer accept. Why am I saying that? I am proving to you. We don't have time this morning, but I woke up when I was growing up. The day I became born again, 38 years ago, I looked into my family. I saw backwardness, hopelessness, poverty, rejection, dejection. I saw retrogression. I didn't see any light. Nobody preached to me. I studied the Bible. I said, God, as far as you have brought me here, you know, some of us now, paro you parochialize some Bible quotations. You know, when we read, you are the light of the world, you're only thinking about only righteousness. Righteousness is part one. In prosperity and blessing, you should also be the light. I said, God, this story will not con continue, but I will know, never lower my Christian standard. Okwa Bible, na gugum, he's Abraham. Abraham, Come out from your father's house, your kindred, from this and that, and follow me. Then you told him, if you come and follow me, I will bless you. I will make you fruitful. You will be a blessing to your generation. Whoever blesses you will be blessed by me. By you, all the nations of the earth, will be blessed only if you will obey me. I said, God, I will not practice hypocritical Christianity. This scripture must fulfill. What are you allowing in your life? It's not about worry and anxiety. Ekponya kanaba. Nedia, nedia, nedia no kototo. Itetora nyawa bombo inaba. The greatest ignorance is to be ignorant of whom you are in God. The greatest ignorance, to be ignorant of whom you are in God. Such the scripture. You know, oh God, help me. When we read the Bible, if you read Matthew chapter 22, 29, Jesus looked at them and said, you, you, you are mistaken and you are in error not knowing the scriptures nor the power of god how many of us read the bible and our worry ministry this morning, there are people who will fail you and disappointment is their own harassment, failure. Young girl, you are up to the age of marriage, you're beautiful. Today, a man will come and propose you and you say, okay, let me come and inform my people and come back. That is the end. Not once, not twice, not three eyes. Why should he continue like that? Are you created for disappointment? Somebody will make a promise of helping you and you concretize it. The person says, okay, by next week, I will fulfill my promise. And that is the end of the story. Something is wrong somewhere. Disappointment is Satan's harassment. Constant one. Somebody will offer you a job after interview. I say, by next week, you will resume. Before next week, stories will crop up and that job is gone. 
is harassment. Disappointment is harassment. There are people that are harassed by inexplicable deaths in their family. In their family. I know a woman, very committed woman in the church, every November, two years, every second November of every two years, what is happening in your own family? Why do people die very young there? Somebody, remember that grammar I spoke and I prayed and speak it again. What you allow in your life and family is what gets what? Allowance in your life and family. So don't tell me, you can stop premature death. That is a harassment. You can stop mysterious death. You can stop children dying in the presence of their parents in your family. It's a harassment. These things in my from the Bible, how many people that feared God in the Bible buried their children? Have you read Bible? Madone to Rebu Chineke, the Relio Mohana Bible. What you will be hearing? Oh, this one became so old. Like Isaac, he said, Isaac was too old. His eyes became dim, he could not see. And he called his first son, Esau. I said, Go and get me meat. Prepare the meat so that I will eat. Um, I will bless you as I'm going to my fathers. Okay, Jacob, also, Joseph, bring me. Oh no, man, I'm going to that place. Oh no, I don't know. You got to go by book. Get out of here. Oh, no. Manasseh and the. Have you ever heard Manasseh? Bye, Megragra. Oh, that case is from protocol is broken. That case is more. Don't come near me. If you are a Musa, I got a protocol. In my case, I got him mad. <laughs> Joseph brought them protocoly. Dobehana papage, dobaka ninisi, diok para deba kekbe. And the man has said, Bunu diok para ne kuchanu. A dobem nako ever. It was your last boy, la ebi dorota. I don't know my keta, I'm the last boy. Nanka unko ever keta. A woman, a man, as a moral as born. But I got this. No, this one is a special candidate. In my case, he goes in Gosia. Joseph, now, Banekanika said, Daddy, this is wrong. Oh, can your bagogi say, Joseph, shh. He bata nekanika, who chechuku game. Oh, to be otra, where I can ya. God will break protocol because of you. God will change system because of you. God will toward the man of order because of you. Bureaucracy will be changed positively because of you. You will stand to testify of God's victory because of God's mercy. In the name of Jesus Christ. So I'm not me for harassing you. When then I harass, I'm struggling without success. Fana bambo. They're doing everything they can do to succeed. Nothing is coming out of it. It is Satan's harassment. Unwendable childlessness and barrenness. But their own problem. I met a family. Childlessness now be fend up at when they both consolidated principalities and powers. How can you have five boys? Five of them married. None gave birth. 
I went to a family, I met such case. Five hefty young men, all of them married. 16 years married, 13 years married, 11 years, 9 years married. This is harassment. This principality must be uprooted. Thank God. <laughs> Today, after that family prayer, Diokbara, who is at the age of Mboruzi, 19 years in a marriage, Omure Jubadovena. Your own harassment will end this year. Did somebody hear me? If I repeat it, you need to emphasize that amen. I say, as God liveth, and as a servant and high priest of the Elohim, this God that created you for dominion and fruitfulness and blessing, every satanic harassment in your life and family and marriage and career must end this year. In the name of Jesus Christ. Sit. Now we come to the conclusion by teaching you in a few minutes how to deal with satanic or Satan's harassment. We will use Hezekiah's approach. Follow me to where we read. How did Hezekiah deal with that? Second Kings chapter 19. Second Kings chapter 19, verse 1. We read verse 1, then jump to verse 10. How did Hezekiah deal with his own harassment? From, you know, Senekarev is a representative of Satan. Senekarev, hang with a union. Ahab, Pharaoh. Herod. Herman. National Union of Kidnappers. I'm an ordinary Nigerian. <laughs> National Union of Unknown Government. Yet they know themselves. 2 Kings chapter 19, verse 1. We rush now. Verse 1 says, And so it was when King Hezekiah heard. On the go if harassment in Ella. When King Hezekiah had it, what did he do? As a human being, he tore his clothes, covered himself with sackcloth. But more importantly, where did he go to? And went into the house of the Lord. Look at verse 10. Verse 10. Verse 10. Thus, you know, when he went there, they continued the harassment. Thus, you shall speak to Hezekiah, king of Judah, saying, Do not let your God, in whom you trust, deceive you. You see how these people are stupid. They have even graduated from Hezekiah now to who? To God. Say, so Don't let God deceive you saying Jerusalem shall not be given into the hand of the king of Assyria. Look, you have heard what the king of Assyria have done to all lands by utterly destroying them. And shall you be delivered? Have the gods of whom my fathers have destroyed, Gozan and Haran and Rezef, and the god of people of Eden, who were in Telassa? Where is the king of Hamath, king of Apad? And the king of the city of Sephavim, Hina, and Eva. Verse 14. And this was this time around. Okuchazifa, a quote, and a letter. Keske, I read Jeff with harassment. The man wrote this harassment and sent it to Hezekiah. Look at verse 14. And Hezekiah received the letter from the hand of the messengers and read it. I'm not what you have read. 
among, don't know what they're harassing you with your family, your business area, your town. And Hezekiah went up where? To the house of the Lord and spread the letter before the Lord. Then Hezekiah did what? Hezekiah did what? He prayed before the Lord and said, O Lord God of Israel, the one who dwells between the cherubim, you are God, you alone, of all the kingdoms of the earth. You have made heaven and earth. Incline your ear, O Lord, and hear. Open your eyes, O Lord, and see. And hear the words of Sennacherib, which he has sent to reproach you. Verse 20. Then Isaiah, the son of Amos, sent to Hezekiah, saying, Thus says the Lord God of I will read this place and once I read the last word you should say thunderous amen so gather your prayer points in your heart now I am representing the high priesthood and the prophet's office like Isaiah did Basically, an adobe where protocol government, my father governor Kobo, but protocol could not help him. Military strength could not hope help him. Strategy cannot help him. He tore his clothes, ran to the house of God, and Hezekiah, Isaiah. Then Isaiah, the son of Amos, sent to Hezekiah, saying, "Thus says the Lord, God of who, because you have." Prayed to me against Sennacherib, king of Assyria. I announce to you concerning all your prayers, I have had you. <laughs> Who said it? God. Using Isaiah. And I'm speaking in that position this morning. Whatever you ever ask God in prayer, as a high priest, as a bishop and a prophet, I declare, thus says the Lord, because you have reported this harassment and intimidation and challenges from the devil unto me today, the Lord said, I should say to you, I have heard your prayers. I have answered your prayers. I have given solution to your problems in the name of Jesus Christ. So, number one is to pray. To do what? When you are in trouble, listen, anxiety, worry, doesn't, they don't solve problems. Pray. Jesus, boo, ne <laughs> Nebu iemu nefu ni inaya kwansi ne ye ni le brothers and sisters hear me if there is anything you should be tired of in this life not prayers. If there is anything you should neglect in your life, not prayer, especially in times like this. If, it is any, if there is anything Satan will say and you will listen, don't listen to him discourage you from prayers. If you pray, and the answer has not come. Continue to pray. 
importunity and persistence are wonderful spiritual attitudes to overcoming in prayer. Importunity, you know, they and persistence. And when you have stubborn faith, you know, when I read some men of God in the Bible more, you know, when Elijah told Ahab to mount his horse, a chariot, and run home because there is going to be rain. The Bible says, Where did he go? Where did Elijah go? Mountain. Brothers, develop your prayer life. Over on him, Wale. Rapundiana na coronego in the name of seed, seed, seed. A choice of seed, the abrumons of Palidigi, the Avenisiana sound. Ay, 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 no, I've studied men who give God. I love giving. I believe it. It, it, it helps me. But I have studied people who gave God. It was voluntary decision that come from inside. Or be a go on see it. You know they go here phone. You know even an can get up a band. Seed sowing is biblical. Sacrifice is biblical, but it should come from within. Ni megi be biya oni ni obu ni mechara cheteya na mos wayoke gurugi. When you give God, no matter how costly, joy. Joy. So pray. As everything depends on second way to deal with Satan's Harassment is Psalm 118, verses 8 and 9. Psalm 118, verses 8 and 9. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Have you got it? 118, verse 9 said, It is better to do what? Are you reading with me? It is better to do what? Obey the Lord. My own said trust. What does your own say? Eh? Make ready. Take refuge. I love that. That is explaining to you what trusting in the Lord. He said, it is better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in man. It is better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in princes. 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 Five fifty. On what price? Oh, a big jamata. Get me a meva. A big jamata. And some of us, you know, this part of the harassment, because now we put a subsidy without it, because the man is a rich we put Kenya here. You will subsidize them, but they question in order plan how to cushion the effect on the citizens. What did they provide? Ndoro Iboketa Gaba Fair, 550, 600. Did they increase their salary? Obama and Mife provide their bosses for the masses. They will pull down this pressure. And we packages. But don't have to go in. But 
does it disturb you? It's part of the harassment. Trust in the Lord. Take refuge. Refuge. Trust in the Lord. Surukwanda bere chuku, na Jehovah kanda bere. Iera kagi mebo, kanda bere na chuku. We don't have time, but don't we even try go sege. God does sege. I will trust Him. Or trust in the Lord. Take refuge in him. Who is he to you? Let me show you somebody who said whom God is to him. And when he got that God, if you understand God this way, nothing will shake you. We just read Psalm 18 verse 1 to 3. Psalm 18. Verses 1 to 3. Somebody was describing, why should I trust God? And I want to plead with you. See God this way. Are you there now? He said, I will love you, O Lord. Number one, what is God to him? My strength. He came. When I am weak, he is my strength. Verse 2. He said, this God, he has trust in him. The Lord is my rock, not stone. Do you know the difference between a rock and a stone? You can crush a stone. You cannot crush a rock. <laughs> Did you hear me? You can only blast a rock. My equipment. <laughs> God is a rock. A babani me onye bia okwaya katomato. If anybody comes to deal with you, when you hide in this rock, the rock will crush and squash that person. Who is God to you? Why are you afraid? Governor say, president say, politician say, I didn't build a house when cement was 400 naira. Is it now they are selling it 5,000 or 5,5? Five, five. Will I build a house? Who is God? Rock. Two things. First one, we're going to. You are not reading with me. Strength. Second one is what? My rock. Look at the third one. My fortress. Fortress baby zelendo. We kukuke kuvam vam vam vam. Ema bazam mecheozo. Some of you only kukukuro amane nyaka anya. When in outside in Bobia, vam 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 vam. Gini kime. Baba no lo mechi sive wind fortress ke na cho God is a fortress mbi kuku fear na gas no ku no kan de politician gabia baba ni mechi neke is a fortress number 4 he is my mark the personal pronoun uh, just uh, what is his name King David is using there. What is that? My, my. God is my strength. God is my rock. God is my fortress. Now, God is my deliverer. 
harass he will deliver you. He will deliver me. My God, my strength, in whom I trust. He now gave us another thing God is to him. What is that? My shield, or some versions will say buckler. With attack, he will protect you. And finally, he is the horn of my sampi. Pink ends up at them. A man and boss up at Tara Hannah. Hannah Boabo. He met in a cave. He married one. Oh, no, my Sawamba. Call him out on our Anna. Anna Brava. He met in a cave. Let them, the proud, not speak proudly again. Because the Lord had lifted my horn. In the presence of my adversaries and finally he said apart from being his horn of salvation he said he is my my gene, stronghold and what did he decide in verse 3 I will call upon the Lord who is worthy to be so shall I be saved from who harassment you know, we sing that song. When you read the Bible, maybe many of us that went to scripture, uh, night face, almost every Bible is that verse. We were singing it. I will call upon the Lord who is worthy to be praised. So shall I be saved. From my enemy, the Lord reigned. Blessed be the rock, let the rock of my salvation be exalted. The Lord reigned. Oh yes, blessed be the Lord, let the rock of my salvation be exalted. No, stand, 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 stand. Those seven things David said God is to him. I want to declare it upon you. Can you stand? Can you stand? It's not a joke. From this morning, I declare it. Anywhere you go, the Lord God shall be your strength. From this morning, anywhere you go, the Almighty God shall be your rock. From this morning, anywhere you go, the Lord shall be your fortress. From this morning, wherever you find yourself in any situation, the Lord shall be your deliverer. From this morning, the Lord shall be your shield. From this morning, 1st June 2023, the Lord shall be the horn of your salvation. And the Lord will be your stronghold. And this month, Jan June 1, 2023 to December 31, the Lord we save you from your enemies. The Lord will save you from calamities. The Lord will save you from sicknesses. The Lord shall save you from disappointment. The Lord shall save you from poverty and failure. The Lord shall save you from struggling without success. The Lord shall save you from the hand of destiny wasters. The Lord shall save you from barrenness and childlessness. The Lord shall save you from promise and fear. The Lord shall take away inexplicable debts from your families. From this morning, the Lord will answer all your prayers. 
in the name of Jesus Christ. Sit. Number three, Second Kings chapter 19, 5 and 6, quickly. Second Kings chapter 19, 5 and 6, that they taught them. So the servants of King Hezekiah came to Isaiah the prophet, and Isaiah said to them, Thoughts you shall say to your master, Thoughts says the Lord, do not be afraid of the words which you have heard, which the servants of the king of Assyria have spoken blasphemy against me. Resist and avoid fear, no matter what you hear. That's how to deal with that's the third point. Resist and avoid what? Fear. That's the first target. Who create fear? It will confuse you. It will cripple your faith. Resist fear. Things that will cause fear must come. It must come. So don't, don't be utopic in your belief. Don't fear. No. Every time when he visited Virgin Mary, I said, ah, what? I said, oh, hell, Mary, you are full of this. And the woman said, what kind of greeting is this? Yeah, Moses, yeah, Mary, fear. My sister, fear not. You will come out of this matter. My brother, fear not. You will share your testimonies. Are you with me? Number four. This is very important. Live righteously and obediently to God. This one is very crucial. Because if you pray in sin, pray in rebellion against God, pray in unrighteousness, look at Psalm 1. Psalm 1 only. That's second to the last point and we, we go. Psalm 1 verse 1. So in the resist fear. This one is their father. This point is the father of all of them. Psalm 1, verse 1. Are you there now? Blessed is the man or woman who walks not in the counsel of the ungodly. No stands in the path of sinners, nor sits in the seat of the scornful. I don't know where you find yourself. The easiest way to be blessed and overcome certain harassment is to live righteously in Christ, to live obediently to God. It may look stupid when you start living obediently because. Shortcut now the faster. Shortcut is always faster. People will say, No, I Bible, the Bible, the Bible, the Bible. Like one man told me, I have shared it with you because of time. I, I just summarize it. The man told me one day off from um, no, university, a lot of holidays. Nah, nah. Somebody saw me. On our job, same. As in, uh, Akazoka. <laughs> okay, you're mad over when you see Oka, and I commit to honor when I commit. You see how God will bring you hit them. I saw Boro Dinka. I said, Oh no, who's the Chukuanya? And she had for a quantineke, come a quidem near. I said, Nam my yan, a glass of one, oh no, was born again. You say, Yes, sir. I said, Naya, Jenny, Nam much as he he. No, you book on us, you are the man of architect. I said, I thought you were wise. When you were growing in this town, I saw you as a wise young boy, but now I know you are senseless. You are stupid. And now that's am you are foolish. Three, three, stu three terrible things. You are senseless. You are stupid. You are. You know what the man added? I said, I don't know you see the mature take decision. Church, Chenega Chianas, Nan the family, Iana, we Bible. Now, for the level of 
poverty in a Ben Namji Jamabro Bible. The man so to Nafia by a corner, to a cozy men over die, ever I got no mumu to praise, get a Kademan Oko. Sim Nana no muchuni la, who fool your neighbor Bible name of Mano Muchu. Not no record, do I? Who fool your neighbor Bible name again? Ya or Saint Bolly or fool your neighbor Bible of Mano Muchu and Abbey's Bomoto, Ruiz Bono. You know, you're an unbeliever, Jokapa. This man, man, who went in our Bamota, man, or Tori, me intimidate. In my town, I know, but the thing, you say, eh, I said, eh, eh, I said, you say, you will see me. I said, okay, man, we can't call him over. We need to be in pocket money. Now, what's in Kanga is if a chuku. Thank God, the man is alive today. I can't have a good year, I can't And don't, okay, no, poison. Okay, no, poison. Well, for but in the harvest, nobody die. And for the man there, I can tell you, call a man at age, yeah, but go take a kid. And then my harvest, and for the man, about three years ago, going, 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 go to Ufu Ram, Ram. Go ram one hundred and ninety-five thousand. I say I couldn't hear papa. Ndia chigo to fi he gabo. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. I say it here before I repeat it this morning. God does not come late. Wait. Okwachuku. I speak as his oracle. He will settle your matter. Chukwa da galet. What you are calling lateness? Calendar geke ije agoya. Calendar. Doka that your calendar. Choro original calendar. He also gave. I know the thought I think towards you. The thought of good, not our evil. To give you that expected end. You will never end in sorrow. You will not end in disappointment. Your family will not end in sorrow. Your children will not be wasted. Your effort will not be wasted. Your struggling will not be wasted. The word of God must come to pass in your life. In the name of Jesus. Live righteously. Don't live in sin. Sin is a miracle extinguisher. Sin is promise avatar. Avatar. In my own way, avatar. Oh no, my own avatar. Avatar to avat. Finally. Having done this for the fifth thing you need to do to deal with Satan and his harassment is believe and confess God's word always. No matter what people are over on your potassium now, get that way for get off here. Subsidy in a fair, nobody got me. Well, get my say, and then on I got with the agaga. Oh no, now be where you go, doc. Can't own one of the Look at the confession we were used to pray. I've prayed for you, so I just read it. Can you open your Bible? The last place I want us to read is okay. Mark Luke chapter 145, then Habakkuk 317. Luke 145. Um, Moses But we take verse 45 or see. Blessed is she who believed for there will be a fulfillment of those things which we are told her from who believe it blessed is that person that believes irrespective of situations don't allow circumstances in nigeria to control your joy finally look at what habakkuk said in habakkuk chapter 3 we we'll now pray with that. Habakkuk. Have you got it? 
Let me read verse. I'm reading verse. 17 Habakkuk chapter 3 verse 17 On we if any man or bodo he seek hope at the Lord there was no hope there was no rain they were not planting the animals were dying there was poverty there was drought no hope people were losing hope and look at <laughs> verse 16 I see when I heard, Habakkuk is reported, when I heard my body trembled, also my lips quivered at the voice, rottenness entered my bones, I trembled in myself that I might rest in the day of trouble. When he comes up to the people, he will invade them with his truths. That was the situation. But I'll be on verse 17. <laughs> I say, Though the fig tree may not blossom, her confession, yeah, he did obodo the bad. Though the fruit, uh, fig tree does not blossom, nor fruit be found on the vines, though the labor of the olive may fail, and the fields yield no fruit, Though the flock may be cut off from the fold and there be no herd in the stores, yet, somebody say yet. yet. Though they have removed fair subsidy, though Naira is exchanging at 770 per dollar now, though dollar, I mean pounds, is exchanging at 980 per pound now. Though traveling to Lagos by luxurious bus is 20 something thousand now. Though one bag of rice is 45, 46 thousand now. Though cooking gas is 950 per kg now. Oh, 1,000. Though it is 1,000. Though salary has not increased, yet cost of living is increasing. Though, though, though we did not vote for Tunumbu, and he imposed himself on us. <laughs> no, did we vote for him? He is the president of Nigeria, but I know my president. <laughs> so, of which I wrote, who is the president of Nigeria? I said, who is your president? He said, maybe I'm some color going over my president. I have my president. He is not my president. He is the president of Nigeria. Because you cannot legalize illegality. You cannot legitimize illegitimacy. Though politicians have turned our nation upside down, though all the governors that handed over on 29th handed empty treasury to their successors, though our leaders are pathological liars and deceivers, though they don't have our interest in their heart, though they are wicked and they don't want to build hospital for us, they don't want to construct road for us. They don't want to give us seaport. They don't want to give us uh, 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 Nigeria air carrier. Though there is no refinery a nation can build, but that same nation can give a man a loan to build a personal refinery. That is the irony of this country. Do you, do you know that it was CBN that gave Dangota loan with which he built refinery? Then Nigeria cannot build refinery. Though deceivers have taken over our nation, yet I will rejoice. We are. We are. Which, which means if you are not in the Lord, forget joy now. Yet I will rejoice in the Lord. I will joy in the God of my salvation. The Lord God is my strength. 
this is Habakkuk collaborating what David said in Psalm 18. What did David call God? My strength. I say, God will make my feet like the deer's feet. If you go okwele, okwele on a day ready for some bob. So he may ban again. he will make me. Hey, oh my why? Oh my why? Even though oh he link on the ever man, I may tear on the he ever. Aruge. He will make me to walk where on my high heels. Stand up as we go. Kuroto. Don't close your eyes. I want to speak into your eyes. It's not a joke. The word of God, the word of God, the Bible says that heaven and earth shall pass away. But the word of God must surely come to pass. As I look at you and as you go this morning, I speak into your eyes. I speak into your life. No matter the situation in the country today, you will walk on high heels. Your family will walk on high heels. Your children will walk on high heels. In the name of Jesus. Even though there is high cost of living, I speak to you by divine providence you will live in abundance I say you will live in abundance even though there is no money anywhere you will not be a borrower you will be a lender from today in the Lord you will remain protected. In the Lord God of Israel, your expectations will never be cut short. From today, the devil will lose every harassment he brings to you. You will overcome devil's harassment. In the family, you will overcome them. In your finances, you will overcome them. In your career, you will overcome them. In your marriage, you will overcome them. In your business, you will overcome them. In ministry, you will overcome them. In your life, you will overcome them. In the name of Jesus Christ. Because you are here like Hezekiah, the Bible said, after Hezekiah brought that letter, spread it before God, and Isaiah spoke, something happened because the second message Isaiah Hezekiah said that Zenekarev cannot come into the city he will hear a noise and he will turn back every Zenekarev against your life they will hear a noise and turn back in the name of Jesus the Bible said as he was about to come there was a noise and the Senecare ran back through Ethiopia. And when he got home, the Bible said he went into Nimrok, the temple of his God. And as he's worshipping in that temple, his two sons came there and slaughtered him and ran away. All the plan for your death, God will destroy them. All the plan for your shame, God will put them to shame. All the plan for your downfall, that God will give them downfall. All the plan for your failure, God will give them failure. The expectation of the wicked will not come to pass in your life. The prophecy of the devil will never come to pass in your life. You shall celebrate your victory. You shall celebrate your deliverance. You shall celebrate your testimony. I send you out of this house of God on this first day of June 2023. You are a victor. You are more than conquerors. You are protected. You will walk on high heels. 
the Lord will provide for you you will not lack any good thing sickness will not come upon you premature death will not be your portion your family will be delivered from premature death the eyes of the wicked will never see you they will not see your children they will not see your husband they will not see your wife they will not see your siblings they will not see your parents they will not see your business I send you out here to secure your gate this month and you will possess the gates of your enemies go out with joy for the Lord God Almighty the helper of Israel will be your help every prayer you pray this month he will answer you will share your testimony so shall he be in the name of God the Father the name of God the Son the name of God the Holy Spirit the Lord remains blessed be the rock let a rock of my salvation